Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Bodzell. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Ah. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah! Me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, Okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? Run! 
shit! Oh! 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 Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone or oh, fuck Chris? How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what do you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Oh, but watch out, Nick. Get off. Nick. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Just try to rest. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. so much it's pretty clean from what I could tell I mean it's not bleeding but you need to see a doctor look this is all I've got left from the nurse's station Ooh, fun you better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off we need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police yeah Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable?
wonder where Caleb is. The place was so different like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. It's such a Oh, such... Such... what? Such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Uh. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Oh! 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 
Okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Only one left. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. This place is a lot harder to navigate at night.
Sí, no. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. God damn. God damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Hey, stop! Stop squirming! Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby. I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her, inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay.
here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon, how poignant tonight of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Go then, top top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. Uh, why didn't you come? So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Ma'am, this is going to get a little messy. The fuck? To Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. 
I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? Fuck you. I was scared. I was running to get help. Yeah, well, some help. Well, we're alive, aren't we? All I'm saying is I guess I know I can't count on you when shit hits the fan. Oh, that is not fair. It is what it is. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and...
Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. sort of lever. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Wait, wait, well... Answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back!
How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just... Focus on getting out of here, for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. 
The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a... A dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey... Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What, 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 what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care, but I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there.
I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way. Okay. Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. What's well, not gonna work? You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck, fuck off. Get back. Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him. Come here. Get off of me. Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close.
Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding.
What's he hiding? Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. <sighs> Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. July 7th? Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. I need to lie down. What are you hiding, Travis? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are.
Hello? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Fuck yeah. hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry never to be seen again like us except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 blah, blah part we're, we're more like um ghost investigators specter sleuths sure so what happened next well according to reports from the local paper the north kill gazette some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Well, see so you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do.
What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know, but it's all we have to go on. Hmm kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think.
So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him. About... the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there! Who? The counselor. Show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bet one of them. Chris, what's I supposed to do? <laughs> what was that? Me. I'm telling mom. Take your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And you those know hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shit, man. It's 
go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. Okay. Okay. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> Come on. Laura, please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. It's coming from behind that door.
There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. Left Max at the island seemed like the best place for him. Left Max at the island seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Hello?
That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Lots of it. How you? I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, 
Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer one of this for you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, n no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? 
when I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. There it is. Back your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. <laughs> Oh. oh shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. 